This video explains how to suppress scientific notation when printing float values in the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you a very simplified example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data object, as you can see in the first line of code. So in this case, I'm creating a data object, which is called x. And we can print this data object below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have created a data object which contains a float. And you can also see that this data object is shown with scientific notation. We can also check the data type of our data object using the type function. And then you can see that we are currently dealing with a float object. Now let's assume that we want to avoid scientific notation when we print this float value. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the third code box. So in this line of code, I specify f, then quotation marks, curly brackets, then the name of our data object, which is in this case x, then a column, a point, and then I have to specify the number of digits that I want to show when printing our value. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object that I call x new, and I use the print function to print our new data object below the code box. So after running these lines of code, you can see that another output is returned. And as you can see, this output shows our float value without scientific notation. Please note that our value was also converted from the float data type to the string data type. And we can see that by applying the type function once again to our new data object. And then you can see that now we are dealing with a string. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.